ever counted the work days in Excel and came up short, like the formula is gaslighting you, that's usually a sign you're ignoring holidays. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Network Days INTL with any holiday list you want. Even if that list includes grilled cheese day or taco day, you'll learn how to adjust for regional, company specific, or just completely arbitrary days off in your workday calculations. All right, I got a simple sheet here with a start date and end date and a list of weird holidays to off to start. You can make this list as normal or as cursed as you want. This one has things like taco day. So yeah, that's a, a real day. Now, of course, these are not real government official holidays. They're just holidays that are actually on somebody's list. Let's start off with a start date of January. We'll just do January for the first month and that will be our first demo for this, right? And so this doesn't look like a easy readable date. I'm gonna make that into a short date here make it easier to read. Now with the working days, you'll just be using the function called network days. So these are the working days and we're gonna use this .intl international one. And it's gonna return whole work days between two dates with custom weekend parameters. So what does that mean? Let's look at it. Let's double click that. And we have our start date here, comma, and our end date here, comma. And now it's gonna give us a bunch of parameters that we can use. If we didn't use that, we just put a comma and we ignored that we can select our holidays, right? So I can select my holidays here, press enter. We've got 21 days. So that's on by default. And if you didn't want to go through selecting that third parameter, there's actually a, another function called network days. This one automatically assumes Saturday and Sunday is a holiday. And so you only have three arguments to work with and it makes it a little bit easier. So if I select that press enter, we've got a 21, but in some countries that is not the case, right? So in some countries, Saturday is actually a work day. So let's look at our drop downs that we saw earlier. I'm going to delete this. And in here now, now let me go back and do a comma. Let's see if I get my drop downs. Yes, I do. And I select Sunday. Sunday is the only weekend. Select that, comma, and then select my range of dates here. Enter. And I need to change this because these two do not fall on a Saturday. Let's go to Jul let's go to April where this one I believe falls on a Saturday. Let's do four one press tab and make this 430, press tab. And this one says it's not because it's indicating that Sundays is the only holiday. And if we wanted to bring that back to its default, instead of 11, make that a one, press enter. We've got a 22 days, which matches that. Now, if we didn't want to have that drop down, and we knew that Sundays is the only holiday, another way that we can do this if we didn't want to drop down is put it in quotes, and put seven characters of either zeros or ones. So I would type zero, 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 one, which indicates Sunday is the only holiday. So this is a toggle between zero, one. One indicates it's true that that last one is a holiday. And it's a little different here. The first number indicates a Monday. The last number indicates a Sunday. So the second to last number would indicate a Saturday. So if I went back and said Saturday is a weekend, and made it like that, press enter. And Excel was nice enough to say, hey, there's a correction here because you didn't put in that last quote and it put that in for me. I click yes, it would indicate 22. And that's our normal Saturday, Sunday weekend. Now I go back, press a zero. Sunday is the only weekend. It's gonna change it. And that's the way that we can use this network INTL to customize our weekends. And there you have it. Using network days INTL with custom holidays, whether you're avoiding productivity nightmares or just making room for donut day. Now your Excel sheets finally reflect real life. If this saved you a headache, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more nerdy but useful tutorials like this one. Got a bizarre holiday you actually track? Drop it in the comments. I'm dying to see what's out there.